welcome back to my channel it's me again chat so you may have some templates from various content producers that have commercial rights and have their source files in apps like powerpoint photoshop word keynote pages etc and you may also have pdf files in there and if you're using affinity publisher you might be wondering if you still can use those templates especially the pdf files the answer is yes you can all you need is the pdf file and in today's video i'm going to show you how to edit a pdf document or template here in affinity publisher it's actually very very easy right away if you're new to my channel welcome 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 and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll get notified when i post one of these videos all right let's get started okay so now we are on affinity publisher and all you have to do is click on file and then open or open recent and then just click on the recent files that you have already opened just like this here i have already opened the password tracker earlier so normally you would um, try to load all pages but this one has a lot of pages so i don't want that so i only want the first two pages so i click this load pages one and two and then the dpi would be 300 and color space i just choose rgb it's up to you what you want to uh if you want to use cmyk or gray just click open here and uh, this is what you have here the first two pages and yeah, the second first and second so normally if you want to edit this one and and uh, populate like 150 pages here on affinity all you have to do is just copy everything and then go to master page and click on master this one here add new master and then just name your master whatever you want and hit ok now you have this blank page here so all you have to do is okay like highlight this one because this is the one that i want to duplicate um 150 times or 100 times however how many you want your pages to be so all you have to do is copy this command c or control c and then go to pages and then command b or control v so there you go and i will just delete that one so here on master pages you can um, change everything here you can change the font the font size or the font colors and you can even uh, delete this one if you don't like it if you can delete that one too and uh, you can add another text or whatever you want or you can add a square or rectangle or or whatever element that you need to have in this so you have your master page and you can edit everything here say for example i change we change that to to this font so now let's see now that's changed now let's delete that one and i don't want that one either so it looks like that so so as you can see here if you go to pages it's now the same with our master page if you want to add other pages just add here and then number of pages for example i'll do 50 of those and it's after page 2 and master page would be master a and then click ok and here are your other pages so there you go and all you have to do is save this again as a pdf and uh, that's it so just remember that you can edit pdfs here so you have source file like powerpoint or photoshop or keynote or even uh, pages all you have to do is save a file that's in pdf and then open it on affinity publisher if you want to use affinity publisher and that's all for now and thank you for watching again and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already i truly appreciate your support keep watching keep learning see you in the next video ciao